That belongs in a museum. <laughs> Ten, one to go. So that one damage from putting his crazed alchemist on the other side might have been the difference Damn. in this game. We'll have to see. Mortal Coil, good option. Sir Finley might give him that extra damage too in a future turn. Yeah, Sir Finley can uh, be a reasonably decent pickup against Freeze Mage. Just honestly, any source of damage from off the board is a very big deal in this matchup. So we're talking about Druid hero power, Hunter hero power, Mage hero power, any of the above, because Mage can lock out your board very, very effectively. And this deck only plays the one charge minion in Leroy to be able to deal damage off the board as well as the Soulfire. So any source of damage from off the board can be a big deal, but he just goes with the Mortal Coil, which makes a lot of sense as well. Just cycles through his deck takes care of the problem in front of him, which is the minions in play. Picks up the Councilman for his efforts as well. Councilman, a uh, very high health minion, likely to stick around so that it can deal that one damage. And ultimately, that's all APX Void needs at this point. One damage. One damage indeed. Ice Lance is picked up, so there is a great deal of burn building up in Jason. And that might seem a little bit excessive right now. Dear Jason knows he's at 11. Uh, his opponent's likelihood of having that 11 burst damage, he'd have to have Leroy. But there's only one card in the deck, only yep. one Leroy. So uh, he might not decide to play around that particular combination here. Runs out on me. Yep, so he does go with the play, just isolating the, the Darkshire Councilman, using the Frostbolt to lock it out. This means it gets caught in a Flame Strike next turn if he needs to go down that line, and he has enough mana spare to develop the Ice Block. So this looks like a solid line, but Darkshire Councilman number two is a minion that doesn't get caught in that Flame Strike. Man, that one damage earlier on. Uh, I don't know if APX Void realized it, but uh, I might be beating myself up over it. But there we go. Power of Roaming number two. Now the problem here is uh, you're going to be setting your opponent at 11 health when you choose to, to uh, destroy the ice block if you don't have any minions left on board. True. Acolyte Pain is a card he would have had in trying to follow up with that knife juggler later. So we will see. Power Overwhelming number one is used. Power Overwhelming number two is going to come down as well. So he is just going to commit to breaking the block. He does break it at 11, which is suboptimal, but it is one ice block down. Yeah, now this flame strike is going to leave a lot of minions on the board for uh, dear Jason. A lot of ways for him to do damage. Uh, probably going to draw with the Acolyte here first. Yep. Uh, possibly multiple cards. Yeah, I see no reason not to get your two cards off this Acolyte first and foremost. I mean, you will get punished by the Knife Juggler by doing it that way, but I think I value the additional draw by trading into that Void Walker in isolation over the over the just one damage to face and the one extra health on the minion. But uh, maybe Dear Jason is a genius and is playing around exactly Knife Juggler Forbidden Ritual here. It looks like he uh, has kind of predicted that the second Forbidden Ritual, of course, this game, which means kind of less likely for it yep. to be there. Uh, but hey, that's six juggles this turn. He can choose to play Void Walker with it or just choose to play Forbidden Ritual, one or the other. Yeah, he's gone ahead and life tapped, which means he probably isn't going to commit to the full Forbidden Ritual this turn. He's going to go for some of his other minions, which is fine too. He doesn't need a huge amount of juggles. Um, that knife juggler represents a decent threat on the board. He's going to go ahead and play out the Possessed Villager and now probably just use the Forbidden Ritual, having seen the Flame Strike just for three, which is totally fine as well. And he's going to be wanting to dodge this Acolyte of Pain. Never mind. Mr. Juggles, you have betrayed oh. us once again. Oh, and the double shot into the Acolyte of Pain picks up the Blizzard on the second to last draw for Jason, which is a fantastic pickup for him. Still, the angel on one shoulder, you got the devil on the other shoulder, and behind you, there's just some weird beast thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we pretend hey, he's not there. I have Wind Fury, I can attack twice, you know? That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, Flame Imp number one going to come down. Defender of Argus alongside with it. And yeah, he's going to put himself, it looks, down to 12 here. That's and, it. Uh, that seems pretty sketchy because we have Fireball Frostbolt Icelands coming back the other way from Dear Jason. And he is going to square up this series. Pretty strong stuff from Jason, despite the uh, Doomsayers early on not working out for him. Um, definitely a difficult matchup to win for the Zoo player. And uh, Dear Jason takes advantage of that good for one card at this point with his remaining mana. Uh, that life tap might get him a lava burst, and then I think he'll be locked out of mana at that point. Uh, well, he he will have exactly three mana on this turn coming up, right? So he can cast yeah. that one lava burst that he has in hand. Not a great deal more than that. 
picks up that look like Argent Horse Rider. Yes, indeed it is. So how does he ration this out to find the best way of achieving the board in the form of Knife Juggler? That can represent a lot of damage in a lot of situations. So this is an all-in play if you go all face here, but APX Void may just calculate that it's the highest win percentage. Gonna nope. save the Doom Hammer. Uh, he's banking on Rockbiter instead of a second Doom Hammer here, I believe. What I will say is that Sea Giant that we've discussed heavily is a card that's been sat dead on the left-hand side of Dear Jason's hand for a large period of the game. So if you are APX Void, you can account for that card being a burst damage card, in which case you are very likely to be dead. So I can definitely understand the timid line that he took with so much on the line based on that information, but I think it's going to end up costing him the game in this scenario. Yeah, APX Void not finding what he needed here. Uh, two minions that he drew there, not able to deal immediate damage on the board, and that means Dear Jason is going to take game number three. Yes, he is. There you can see left remaining.